friends, I'm Mrs. 3D. I'm so glad you can join me today. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe. Today, we have the pleasure of reading Black Girl Magic Sprinkles, written by Shawnetta Anderson and Trinity L. Anderson. Trinity dreams of becoming a teacher, but is discouraged because she doesn't see any women that look like her in successful jobs. Let's join Trinity as she learns all about Black Girl Magic Sprinkles. Make sure you grab your copy if you have it. Get ready to read with me in three, two, one. Black Girl Magic Sprinkles, written by Shawnetta Anderson and Trinity L. Anderson, illustrated by Nana McKelsey. Hello, friends. My name is Trinity, and this is my little sister, Seven. Mom says we can be anything we want to be. But how can I be a teacher if there aren't any that look like me in my school? Even if you haven't seen it, doesn't mean you can't achieve it. Because with just a sprinkle of your black girl magic, you can be it, Mom replied. Hmm, I thought to myself as I slowly drifted off to sleep that night. I could hear Mom's voice in my dreams. Even if you haven't seen it, doesn't mean you can't achieve it. Because with just a sprinkle of your black girl magic, you can be it. I found myself looking for those black girl magic sprinkles as I soared amongst the clouds in the sky. There, across the sky, I spotted it. It was the most beautiful, shiny, blue and gold jar with the words black girl magic sprinkles written on the tag. In the blink of an eye, I had the jar in my hand. When I grabbed it, Rays of sunshine shone from my palms. I took the jar back to my house and I ran into the bathroom. I looked in the mirror and held the magical jar in my hand. I could still hear my mom. Even if you haven't seen it, doesn't mean you can't achieve it. Because with just a sprinkle of your black girl magic, you can be it. I gave it a little shake, shake, and boom! Just like that, in the mirror, I saw a beautiful doctor. She had long, gorgeous braids, just like me, and a doctor's coat that was white as snow. She looked like me, but could this really be me? I gave it another shake, boom! An astronaut was standing there holding her space helmet. She looked like me too. She had smooth brown skin with a little curl hanging slightly down the middle of her forehead. Just like my hair when it's washed. I shook it again and again and again. Boom! 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 A president, a tennis player, and a teacher. It was me. I was certain now. I couldn't believe my eyes. Mom was right, and I had to tell her. Mom! Mom! I shouted. Mom! Then suddenly, I was awakened by a light tap on my shoulder. It was my mom. Could it be that I was dreaming the whole time? Mom, where are my sprinkles? I asked with a tear the size of a mountain about to run down my face. What sprinkles, honey? My black girl magic sprinkles. I knew it was too good to be true. Now I will never be a teacher. I crossed my arms in disappointment as tears poured down my face. Oh, honey, black girl magic is within you. I sat up on my bed as mom wrapped her long arms around me. How? I asked. The magic is here. She pointed to my heart. You carry it with you when you walk and when you talk. You are black girl magic and you can be whatever you want to be as long as you put your mind to it. Really mom? 
Of course, sweetheart. And don't you ever forget it. Mom gave me a huge hug and kissed me on my forehead. Over her shoulder, I could see Seven sleeping in her bed across the room with a huge smile on her face. Yep, she's got it too. Trinity learned that her black girl magic was in her all along. And I hope you realize that it's in you too. I really hope you enjoyed today's book. Make sure that you smash that like button and subscribe so you can be notified about the latest book. I really hope to see you soon. Until next time, bye.